My name is Mr. X and out of fear for my life, I have decided to be anonymous for this video. Today I want to address a conspiracy, a global conspiracy that is affecting all of us in the world of the 16 personality types. I am talking about a group of people who are taking over the community and using it as a means to brainwash everyone into becoming an INFJ. What I have seen is that this group will stop to any techniques, any methods possible to get everyone to identify with the INFJ personality type. They will rewrite articles online, they will create tests online, they will create tools online, videos online, with the single goal of making every single human experience be a result of being an INFJ. Not only will your anxiety, your problems, your issues, your traumas, your struggles be typical INFJ struggles, but everything you feel, everything you experience, everything you think is a result of being an INFJ or a damaged or unhealthy INFJ. What I see is a group of people that are using all kinds of methods to try to trick people to identify as introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. Not only will they say that INFJs are the most outgoing introverts, they will also say that INFJs are the most logical of all feeling types. Not only will they say that INFJs are some of the most messy and disorganized of all judging types, but INFJs are also the intuitive type that is most likely to be highly practical in implementing their vision. The INFJ type code has been redesigned to be everything at once. When you're an INFJ, you can identify with everyone. You can be any personality type. You're a chameleon. You have and the capability of being successful in any career, in any area of life. Every single celebrity type is a mistyped INFJ. The successful sportsman, the soccer player, the basketball player could only have become successful because they were so visionary, so intelligent, so sensitive. The misunderstood jock, the crazed the comedian, the funny guy, everyone around is actually an INFJ, but sometimes just a bit misunderstood or unhealthy. The reason I'm making this video is because somebody has to say no. Somebody must say stop. Somebody must speak out against this global elite of people, this minority, and their global crusade to making everyone be an INFJ. I see through you. I see your goals. You want everyone to identify with and to act like and to be like INFJs. You want everyone to feel and to relate to INFJs. You want everyone out there to understand INFJs. And so you make INFJs as understandable as possible, as relatable as possible. Every description you write, you write about the INFJ dilemma. They are the most rare, the most special but they are also overrepresented everywhere you go. Every celebrity, every person at every coffee shop, every person in every class, every teacher you had that you liked, everybody you know and relate to and connect with, they're all just INFJs. You want to be understood, you want to be seen, and you want to be heard. And you will do anything to make yourself heard. I see you, I know you, I understand why you're doing this. This conspiracy became worse when the spiritual elite came to start using the Myers-Briggs type indicator. Yes, people from the spiritual community who believe in auras, who believe in indigo children, who believe in star children, who believe in some kind of crystal elite, a special people chosen by the stars. This group of people have also come to claim the INFJ personality type as their own. So everybody who has spiritual experiences, everybody who is going through some kind of struggle in life, anybody who is too sensitive for this world, is and must be an INFJ. 
at the same time, you have a crusade. You have a crusade against fake INFJs. You talk about people who act like and try to be INFJs and want to be INFJs. You talk about how your type is the most special and so everybody wants to be you. You talk about and use this as a means to get people to want to identify with INFJs even more. You tell them you're not special enough to be an INFJ as a means to push them, to pressure them to be even more special. Your goal is that by making INFJs out to be even better, even more grandiose, even more intelligent, even more rare, you will want people, you will push people to be even more INFJ-like. You will tell them you're not special enough, so you gotta try harder. You gotta be more empathetic. You gotta be more sensitive. You gotta be more unique. You gotta dress differently. You have to act differently, talk differently to look like an INFJ. What was that? Oh no, they found me. They're here. The INFJ brainwashers. They're gonna make me into an INFJ. They're here. They're gonna take me over. They're gonna rewrite my mind. No! As an INFJ empath, you probably never feel more alone than when you are in a room full of disingenuous people. You are never more at peace than when connected with another highly empathetic being. You seek comfort in the world of complex and abstract ideas. You are rare and special. Your energy is often drained by those who lack empathy and compassion. It is revived by those in the tribe who truly get you. Relationships with others can result in spiritual transcendence or spiritual blockage. You can get derailed easily by the toxic vibes of others and put back on track when redirected to your inner voice. You are overwhelmed by the hatred in the world. Bullies, predators and naysayers can make meal out of your emotions. They feast on your sensitivity and your perceived gentleness. Still, these people tend to be your greatest teachers of personal growth. Beneath your gentle experience, exterior, you are a fiery, complex, multifaceted being waiting to set the world on fire with your truth. But you reveal yourself layers by layers, one by one, and it can take a lifetime for someone to really get to know you. Some never do. Sometimes you're not even sure you fully know yourself. No! No! I can't let them win! I can't let them take over my mind! I am my own person with my own thoughts and my own ideas! <sighs> I need help. I wish only somebody could stand up to these people. Wait, who is that? Is that Harry Merle from Cognitive Personality Theory? INFJ is going through a surge in popularity at the moment, mainly if not entirely due to the fact that it is purportedly the rarest personality type. And I'm not talking about extreme rarity either, I'm talking about 1.5 to 2% of the population, which is comparable to types like the INTJ and the ENTJ, who are respectively about 2 and 3% of the population. So as you can see, there's not a huge difference, but people tend to not necessarily look at the data they just look at the fact that it's number one on any given list and therefore through heuristics they suddenly think oh it must be better it must be more interesting it's amazing actually there's videos coming out at the moment defining ubiquitous personality traits for everyone and then claiming these traits are you know unique to the infj i don't know why maybe it's because everybody wants to be an infj for some reason i don't know if it's some sort of validation or is it because this type more than any other is associated with feeling ostracized, which is a feeling that everybody is experiencing in this digitalized age? Or is it just because the INFJ is rarer than any other type? As it stands, we just seem to associate rarity with being interesting. People say the INFJ being the rarest type and then they say, oh, well, that must be the most interesting type as well. 
that person must be living life on a deeper level than anybody else because they're the INFJ. Well, as someone who is actually an INFJ, I can tell you this is not the case. We're not particularly special. I know other INFJs as well. I can tell you that we're not necessarily that interesting either. Ouch, uh, Harry, you didn't have to go that far. I mean, we are interesting. Anyways, what I meant to say with this video was INFJs are definitely introverts, INFJs are definitely intuitives, INFJs are definitely feeling types, and INFJs are definitely judging types. We're not some kind of weird all-in-one package. We are not every single celebrity. We are not talented in every single area of life. We are not superhumanly gifted. We do not have magical powers, at least not more than any other type. And we are are not more special than any other personality type.